Now, if you haven't done it, you've at least heard of the Ice Bucket Challenge. Yeah, this is all over social media. Right now, people across the country are dumping buckets of ice water on their heads, all to raise awareness for ALS. Now, here's how it works. Someone who completes the challenge nominates a few friends to do it. Those people then have 24 hours to complete the challenge or donate $100 to an ALS charity. Usually, those who complete the challenge donate $10, and this viral trend started on social media about two weeks ago. And you see the Saints players and coaches doing it there, where ALS is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It causes muscle weakness throughout the body, which is caused by the degeneration of motor neurons. Patients diagnosed with ALS will progressively get weaker and have difficulty even speaking, swallowing, and breathing. ALS patients may ultimately lose the ability to initiate and control all voluntary movement. And one family is sharing their story with our Ashley Bullington. On September 28, 2009, my husband Kevin was diagnosed with ALS um, after about six months of testing to figure out what was going on with him. Dr. D'Alvare walked in and said, sorry Kevin, you have ALS. And um, that began our journey, three and a half years. ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, took Kevin Connell's body from him as his muscle cells stopped working. The former Tulane cheerleader was soon confined to a wheelchair. Difficult to watch a man who was so vital um, not be able to do anything, but love us. And uh, yeah, it's, it is the worst disease ever because your mind is fully conscious of what's happening, but your, your body just fails. Why ALS changed Kevin's life, it didn't change his spirit. Gina says he lived every second of his life to the fullest before he died last year. He didn't just want to sit at home, he wanted to be part of the community and really spread the, spread the message of ALS because at that point, we hadn't had an ice bucket challenge, and now we have this, and it's been amazing. That's cool. Grateful for the challenge and its goal of raising awareness, Gina took the plunge herself <laughs> in honor of her husband, who she says would have been the first on board. He would be in hysterics laugh, and it would just entertain him to no end. And, of course, he'd be getting wet. Mm -hmm. He'd be the first one out there in his chair saying, okay, dump me. That does not bother me in the least. He would love it. In Lafayette, Ashley Blington, KTC, TV3. <laughs> Ashley's a sport there. Well, all thanks to the Ice Bucket Challenge. As of today, the ALS Association has received $22.9 million in donations in the past three weeks. That's compared to $1.9 million during the same time period last year. And according to the ALS Association, it is committed to carefully studying the best ways to spend the unprecedented amount of money it has received in the past few weeks. And stay with us, everyone.